Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today I have a viewer request that was asking by Alpha Wells asked, great video made. What are the basic tools I would need? I'm just starting out. So here's my video for that. I'm just going to do a quick answer for this and demonstrate what you need basically. So basically to start blacksmithing you need two of the simplest tools if you're going for absolutely base bottom end that you need to take and have a minimum of tooling. All blacksmithing requires a hammer and an anvil of some kind. Uh, there's a lot of different anvil videos out there. I believe Purgatory Ironworks put a lot of uh, put a lot of effort in going over like possible beginner blacksmith anvil alternatives and things like that. You may want to go check him out. I'll put a link to his uh, YouTube channel in the description and maybe try to link up some of his videos there in the description of this video. And I might also do on the end cards that at the end of this video. If you're a beginner, that's a good way to start. He discusses some of the different anvil uh, like objects that you can use and smith on. But you need those as your two basics of things because all blacksmithing revolves around pretty much a hammer and an anvil for the most part when you're first starting out. As far as to set yourself up with a kit or um, the right amount of uh, things to have as far as a good beginner setup, I would suggest that you are going to need your anvil, some kind, a hammer, no more than three pounds, especially when you're first starting out, but get you a hammer that's no more than three pounds. I would suggest between one and a half pounds up to two pounds if you're just starting out until you build up muscle control and things like that because going to a too heavy of a hammer too quick can damage you quite severely. You need those and then you need to find yourself some tongs, some bolt jaw tongs. They don't have to be the forged kind. You can always make these at a later date once you develop your skills. But I would get you a couple different sizes. I would get you some sizes ranging from about five that hold five eighths inch square around material, and then go down as small as quarter, you know, quarter inch or three eighths inch round material. I would probably go as small as quarter. So from quarter to about five eighths, uh, that would be the range. So you would get a a pair that can hold like quarter inch, a pair that can hold three eighths inch, a pair that can hold half inch, and then a pair that can hold five eighths inch square stop. That would be my suggestions. Uh, there, there's also fabricated tongs that you can buy out there. Uh, you can make yourself if you're not very good at forging just yet. Maybe you're a little better at fabrication and, and that can be a benefit to you. But that's the basic set of tongs, I would say, that you need to start out with. There's also a pair of tongs out there. They're called wolf jaw tongs. I've never used them myself. I know a lot of guys enjoy those type tongs. And they hold various sizes and cross sections of stock along the jaw. So that might be a great kind of all-in-one tong just to get you going. Um, no matter how much you work, uh, eventually you will need a pair of tongs that's going to end up happening to you. So usually when you're just starting out, you try to work on as long a bar stock as possible to keep your hands cool while you're working on the end of that bar. But then you have to cut off whatever that piece is, and then it requires a pair of tongs of some kind. So those are my suggestions there. I will also put some links to my tong making videos. I've got several different tong making videos. Uh, you know, I'll put some links to that in the description as well. Uh, videos I've already shot in the past and if I forget for some reason put them there you can just search on the channel for uh, uh, for making tongs or do-it-yourself tongs there, there's a lot of information here on the channel to help you as a resource lastly you're gonna need something to take and be able to cut stuff with or otherwise cut or punch holes things of that nature those are kind of the basic uh, steps in blacksmithing so I recommend a cold chisel. You can buy these at any hardware store. Uh, you know, you can buy them in sets, things like that. I would recommend cold chisels 
as one of the things you're going to need, at least one cold chisel. You can find those all over the place. A slit chisel. Now this was made myself. You probably not, you're not going to find this. I almost guarantee you're not going to find this online anywhere or probably in a, any sort of auctions unless you're going to a blacksmith auction and, and you were able to pick one up made by somebody else. Uh, but a, a slit chisel and essentially a slit chisel, it has a narrower profile. It's meant to do hot work versus cold work like a cold chisel. And this hot chisel is just a piece of coil spring that's been straightened out and hammered flat. And I made this in a video and there's hardening and tempering videos on the channel. You can do a search for those as well. And so this right here, this was what you'll do most of your splitting of like tines for forks and uh, any sort of hot cut off work until you have a hardy for the anvil or tooling for the anvil. You can do stuff like this. Other considerations is your punches. So I have a quarter inch punch, or I should say, yeah, this is more like a three eighths inch punch, and this is a quarter inch punch. So I would suggest these two size punches to start off as your basic kit. So anyways, uh, that's it. That's what I would recommend for your first beginning setup so you can start blacksmithing. Um, you know, the older gentlemen and the more experienced guys that are on the channel, Go ahead and just drop some comments, uh, you know, in the comment section what you believe I should add to this list uh, for a beginner. I know it's really tough getting started out, you know, that it seems like it's overwhelming at first, like you need all these tools. But you got to remember this craft is ancient, it's old, it's been around for as long as mankind's been around. And I mean, we started with sticks and mud. So, you know, it, it, you can start where you're at today and just kind of arrange you know your tools find some tools at garage sales repurpose tools things like that that'll work for you and uh, it should help you out so hopefully this answers the question alpha wells uh thank you for asking it god bless you all and we'll catch you on the next one